Welcome to Wired to Hunt's Whitetail Research, where we take one study and examine how you can use that to become a better deer hunter. There's some deer research out there that suggests that bucks will stay bedded for up to 70% of their day. There was a study conducted at Penn State that radio collared two and a half to five and a half year old bucks even on public land during the gun season in a heavily pressured state like Pennsylvania, there were times where there was bouts of movement on those radio collared deer. That gives you a little bit of hope. But you gotta think about how does this really apply to my hunting strategy? You gotta think about when are they gonna be moving and where are they gonna be moving? How do I get on a deer when he's only gonna give me these little windows of time? Not only are you usually dealing with that pressure buildup and those bucks sticking a little bit tighter to these thicker bedding areas, but you're also dealing with the leaves falling down and the woods going from pretty thick to pretty open in a matter of a couple weeks a lot of times. We tend to look at that time a lot and go, well, they're gonna be nocturnal. It's the middle of October, there's a full moon, whatever. The deer research doesn't really back up that just go nocturnal all month long mentality that a lot of hunters have. But what it does mean is if you're set up on a field edge that was maybe really good on the September 15th opener, it might be a deer desert by the time October rolls around. Adopting a mobile strategy with sort of an observation, then move in, observation, then move in, can be a really good way to get on that buck movement and take advantage of those little windows of movement throughout the day. But you gotta think about it from the perspective of where are the destination food sources? And then you reverse engineer that and go, this is probably where those bucks are gonna end up. Even if you're not hunting specific buck beds, if you've got some areas that are definitely more likely to be the thick stuff that bucks are gonna bed in, so an actual bedding area, where is the chance to lay a trap in between and catch them? Instead of just riding out that field edge stand and hoping the rut comes and rescues you in three weeks, you can start peeling into that cover a little bit and setting up with a mobile strategy and watching glassing back into that cover when they're going to risk being on their feet for that you know maybe 20 minute period or maybe just before last light the reality is those deer are out there and they're going to give you an opportunity but you're going to have to work to figure that out how can you get in there and really take advantage of those short movement windows this might seem like a bow hunting only strategy, but the reality is this is a big deal for rifle hunters because rifle hunters and shotgun hunters have the tendency to want to sit on the open areas. But the problem with that is, is you're dealing with a serious increase of pressure typically, and those deer are not going to be super inclined, especially after opening morning in really high hunter density states, to just go out and risk their necks by popping out into the open. Instead of just having one ladder stand or one box blind where you're like, well, I'm gonna ride out the gun season in this, having one backup spot back in the cover where you can relocate to after maybe opening weekend or the first day of the season and get in tight where those bucks are, you can still catch them moving. They're just not gonna be using that movement time to be out in the wide open probably. If you want more information about whitetail hunting, please check out the Wired to Hunt podcast, the Wired to Hunt Foundations podcast. We've got all kinds of fresh content going up every single week.